the battle and belt, and the wrestling ring. He moves left. He took one into the battle and belt. It goes. He got another. Folks, this wrestling ring may save the world. One more to go. He's got him. His battle and belt. Oh, hard knocking rock and ring battle and belt. Muscle figure packs each soul separately. New from the all right welcome back boys and girls this is peter renna back with another top 10 toys uh this week as you can see we are looking at muscles now i can figure you can guess that i have an affinity for toys of the 80s so a lot of these might uh, lean back towards that time but i love these little flesh colored dudes uh they were just tiny little you know about an inch or so tall little figures that you could just collect and just have these tiny little uh, little matches and fights with it was just a fun little toy, and uh, I did have a bunch. I don't have them any longer. I kind of wish that I did. So, got a little bit nostalgic, so I might start hunting a little of these, uh, these little guys again. But, Muscles. So, what does it stand for? Uh, well, Muscle is an acronym. It's Millions of Unusual Small Creatures Lurking Everywhere. Yeah, I know, sometimes I had to stretch it, but, I mean, it's better than SHIELD's uh, initial uh, acronym. So, what are you going to do? So, these little guys were pretty cool little figures. When you look at like the main uh, main figurehead, the logo blasted uh, image, it looks a little bit like a luchador. <laughs> a little bit of a Mexican wrestler, like he's wearing a mask even though he's flesh colored. But what's weird is that it kind of reminds me, I don't know if any of you guys watch WWE, but Randy Orton just got his face burnt. And this mask that he's wearing right now really reminded me of Muscles. And that's what really kind of drove me to do Muscles this week is seeing him do this promo with this mask. And I was like, you know what? I was thinking of doing Muscles. This this clinched it. So thanks, Randy Orton. Now, with that, let's just get into our list of toys. I'm going to try to do this as uh, best that I can. There's so many individual figures. There are hundreds, hundreds of these little guys. So to try to go through the data of each individual one is impossible well maybe not impossible it's i just i just can't do it i don't have the time for that so i kind of group things as best i could here so you'll just see more of a generic outline of my 10 selections of products that you could have purchased with a couple of the individuals mixed in so with that let's just kind of take a look at this list all right so we're going to start right in at number 10 and number 10 was this uh, Muscle Mega Match game. Now, this was a pretty cool board game. Um, yeah, it came with a few figures. There were color variations that, as you can see here, when you open up the box, it you know, had a little wheel spinner, it looks like, and some little, uh, little game pieces. But I guess the true thing that people would really like this for as muscle collectors is you're getting the dark purple and those little light, light green uh, guys. Looks like five and five. Now, the original muscles were all flesh colored. But then pretty soon after that, they started doing color variations. And there's like whole charts and guides and tons of information on these guys. I'm going to provide some of this in uh, the links below and uh, at the end of this video. But there's tons of information out there on muscles if you're interested uh, with people making complete checklists from uh, what colors are available for which figure. Because there, again, are over, almost like 240 different molds for these little guys. So there's a lot. There's a lot to collect. So if you're going to get into this, like seriously, there's a lot to do. So hit those resources, do your research, and be prepared. Because uh, there's a lot to get through. But that came in at number 10, that board game. And the reason why that came in at number 10 is because uh, it averages about, you know, like 64 bucks. I saw a high sale of about $100 uh, the last couple of months on that. So that's why that one sneaks in at uh, number 10. So we're going to move on to number nine, which was, I'm a little surprised that this came in so low because this is a box set of uh, 28 figures. Now, this box set of 28 figures comes in at nine because it's averaging about 70 bucks with a high of only 82. And I'm going looking for maybe not sealed boxes, but complete boxes where you're getting the box and you're getting all 28 figures that are supposed to come with it because there were four variations on this box. Uh, four different sets of like 28 and uh, as you can see like this first one that I'm showing here is the cosmic showdown set and uh, That one had a selection of 28 different guys you got there and then there was another set for uh, Which ones are these? Uh, trying to see if I can read the thug busters So the thug busters was a whole nother set with a different selection of uh, 28 guys and then you had the comic What are these comic crunchies? I don't know if cosmic crunchies 
Um, I'm just trying to read. It's kind of a small image that I'm looking at on my screen here. And again, different selection there. And then the uh, Mighty Maulers was the last one with a purple box. You can see each of these boxes had a different color as well, which was make them makes them easily identifiable, identifiable if you're out there looking. And uh, I didn't notice a real price difference between the different boxes. So just generally, those average sales, it's again about 70 bucks. There's only like six sales that I could find uh, where the boxes were present. So that's why that came in at number nine. And as I said, this list is going to include everything I can find related to muscles. So with our number eight pick, I found this poster. So this poster shows all the different molds and models basically for this set. There is a flesh colored poster, which I'm showing here, as well as a colored version, which shows some of the color variations with some of the reds and the blues and what have you for some of the different figures. And, uh, yeah, it, it is an interesting little tidbit there. Now, this poster is uh, averaging close to 80 bucks, and uh, I saw a high sale of about $145. It's kind of crazy. Eight sales on those two. So there's a you know quite a few posters out there, and it's a kind of nice little thing to have on your wall if you are into that kind of thing. So that came in at our number eight pick. So we're going to roll this right on into our number seven, and our number seven is going to be our first individual piece, and this is a piece that is like, become uh, almost like a, not maybe I want to say mythic, but this is the one people think of as the hard to find muscle figure that rings a lot of people's bells. They put it in a lot in their descriptions to kind of draw eyes, and that is Satan Cross. Now, this figure, I think, was the last on the dial on that list, like number 236 or so, <clears throat> and uh, it it is a harder to find figure. And uh, this one came in at number seven because it's averaging about 82 bucks, and the high is only 90, so it's pretty consistent, like a $90 uh, little piece of a little piece of rubber, a little piece of plastic. Again, this is a loose little guy. He's about yay big. And uh, there were eight of those sold that I could find to get that average price, oh, about $82.25. So that is the first individual one that I have on this list. So you can see he's got the you know the extra set of arms, he's got a shield sword, pretty cool figure. There's a little piece on the back where you can, uh, also I think there's a connectable piece for some of them where it was like you get an extra set of legs as well. Again, lots of variations on these things, lots of different things in different colors and, and whatnot. So this is a crazy thing to try to just narrow down and get information on. But Satan Cross is one of the most well-known individual muscle figures that uh, that are out there. So keep an eye out for this one, because if you do find one just in a box of junk, grab it, because this one definitely will sell for you uh, pretty easily. So with that said, let's move on to number six. And our number six is a pretty cool item. This is the belt. This is the Batlin belt. Uh, in it, you get you know the belt. It's got a tiny little ring that you can put the little guys into fight. And there's little pieces on the sides. Uh, I don't know if you, can really, you can't really see it in these pictures I have, but of to contain little extra guys as well. I think they might have shown something in that commercial uh, for this. And this belt comes in at number six because it's averaging about 90 bucks or so. Only a few, uh, few sales. But there was a high... AFA graded 85, graded AFA 85, near mint sealed, new in box, $326 at auction. There's 20 bids on this thing. Uh, looks like a gorgeous, look at how bright blue that is in the picture. 326 bucks for this. So you can see how a graded, you know, a graded piece will do much more than, you know, a raw one or loose, even a loose box, if, if that makes any sense. Because the other box ones, like I said, are 90 bucks to get 326 it is a nice profit, uh, a nice, uh, a nice little extra bump. Uh, so, with that, we'll get to our top five, and our top five will start right off with uh, the four packs. There are so many different four packs that it is near impossible to really try to price these out properly. I ran through forty-eight sales of these things, and these things range from anywhere from like thirty bucks to over four hundred dollars. So it really depends on what figures you can see inside of that four pack that really drives those prices. Some of these harder to find, rare, class A's, uh, they like to call them. There's a lot of different things you can see in these four packs, but averaging, averaging out all those sales, it came in at number five, about $93 or so. And like I said, there was a high, there was a couple highs that hit that $425 mark. Uh, it wasn't just one sale, there was a couple of packs that hit that high price. Uh, in my little bits of research. So you can see here why this came in at number five. There's different packs. Again, as I was saying, there's the four four packs of the flesh colored ones. There's four packs with the colored ones. And it really depends on what little guys you can see inside that pack. That's really going to drive you, you know your prices. 
as you can see here, that high price one is 42601. It was sold mostly because you can see in the back, there's this tiny little red figure they're pointing out, red number 136, uh, little class, class A figure. And it's because of this red guy, this big red guy you can see in that package sealed is why this one sold for such a high value. Again, these collectors, they, they know what they're looking for. It's a lot of information to take in. Do your best, do your research as best you can if you really want to get into this. But as you can see, there's a big difference between what you can get for some of these sealed four packs from as low as 30 bucks to over $400 just based on what little figures could be in there. So you got to know these little figures uh, backwards and front to, uh, you know, to make out. So with that said, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Number four is the ring. It, it's the ring. I mean, this is uh, basically, it looks like the Rock'em Sock'em Robots type of ring. It's that basic, same basic, basic setup. You can connect your little muscle figures to the little, you know, claw arms and grab them. You work the joystick and you had them fight until you knock the other guy's, you know, figure loose, basically. Well, at least that's how I played it when I was younger. So I don't know what the official rules were, but this this ring set is uh, came in just a hair over the four packs at about 95 bucks with a high of $145. And that's why that's coming in at number four. And like I said, you can see here, you get this ring and it came with you know, two figures as well. I think the lead good guy and the lead bad guy there are uh, were packaged in. Variations, of course, because you know this entire line is based on variants and variations. So it is what it is. Moving on to number three. Number three, another way that you could buy these little figures was in this 10-pack trash can. Uh, I don't know if it was a garbage pail kind of thing where they were going off this trash can idea, but these 10-packs and trash cans are also still very sought after, especially if you can see what's inside of them. And you can see that the box isn't as clear as those four packs, so making out what figures are in there is a, such a little bit different uh, than uh, than you would think. But, you know makes it a little bit harder to figure them out. And these 10 packs are averaging about 120 bucks, uh, you know, per sealed uh, container. And I saw a high of about 150 on uh, on this. And as you can see, they, there were the flesh colored ones and then, then the colored ones. And inside you open them up you can reseal them. You can contain your little guys in there and uh, keep them as your little keepsake. And uh, that's what the little trash cans were for. Those were the 10 packs, which is gonna take us into our top two. And for our top two, number two, we have the sealed NES game. Yes, there was a Nintendo game for Muscles. Muscle, the tag team match game. Uh, and a sealed game is coming in at number two because it's about $134.49 on average for, you know, this is with the box and, and everything. So the, you can get loose ones. Loose ones are uh, much cheaper. You can get the loose ones for about 20 to 25 bucks. And, um, uh, even things like just the manual can sell for like $35. I think I saw a sale for that. But, you know, this is a pretty simplistic game. It was for the NES. Uh, I grew up playing it, so I remember this stuff. It almost has a Mike Tyson's punch-out kind of layout there, but the, the figures on there are a little smaller. And again, $35, bucks, you can just the manual alone because these little things for these collectible games, which is an entirely different market and a different topic that deserves uh you know a focus as well one of these days is uh these collectible games and uh you can see the difference a loose game 25 bucks the manual alone is 35 you get the whole kit and caboodle together it's 135 dollars and if you can get a sealed one unopened sealed vintage game one of these sold for nearly 10 grand i don't know if that's a true sale or not all i know is i saw it listed there this sealed muscle game $9,909.95 is what's listed. I can't say the validity of that sale. It's just what I saw. So I felt I'd bring it up and I'd note it. So a sealed, unopened vintage 1983 muscle tag team video game, about 10 grand. Yeah. But yeah, that's still number two because I'm not counting that one sale because again, I don't know if that's true or not. So I'm going off the averages, which will take us to our final and top pick, which I had to go with one of the individuals that I noticed being mentioned a lot more than others on some of these boards and message boards and things. And this is the purple claw variation on the claw figure, which is a popular item in and of itself in any of the colors. But this purple one for one reason or another is up there. There's only one recent sale. It's about $425, $425 for this one inch tall, basically little piece of uh, plastic at auction with 18 bids. 
So this Purple Claw number 153 is the top dog. And this was not the only sale. I saw some screenshots of other people showing these things were selling for these high prices years ago as well. So this is not a new phenomenon. These are well known in that community as some of the harder to find uh, figures and pieces. So that's our top 10. But I don't want to just leave it there because there were a couple of oddball things that I couldn't really fit into the list that I still think we should look at. So I got a couple of honorable mentions as well. And for those honorable mentions, we're going to harken back to that uh, trash can 10 pack and a display case. These things used to get displayed in this big box that had multiple little trash cans in it and the display case alone empty with no figures inside of it. Just the display case of cardboard sold for $315 with 16 bids at auction. Just that empty box to put those little cans in. Crazy. But that is a whole nother thing as well. Display cases and displays and boxes are, they're collectible. People like to have them. If they have space in their house to display them, it's a fun little thing to have your own little Toys R Us, Toy Star, Kitty City in your house, in your basement or what have you. I don't have the space for something like that, but it would be kind of cool if I did. So you can see why that is an honorable mention. It's just the one, but it went at auction over 300 bucks for an empty box. Crazy. Now, something else that was kind of crazy is uh, back in the 80s, there was a connection or a uh, advertising uh, uh, line with uh, Nestle Quick and Muscles. So you can see here that this little can of Nestle Quick had a little advertisement for a little free muscle inside. And uh, yeah, so the can itself is made up to, with all the muscle stuff on there. And then there was a little guy, you know, contained inside. This thing is hard to find. People search for the empty can, an empty Nestle Quick can. Uh, if you can find it, it could get you probably a few hundred dollars. There's no recent sales to report, but I did see some past sales uh, from years ago where this thing was, you know, again, like four or $500 for an empty Nestle Quick can, partially rusted that had chocolate powdered coating inside of it. Craziness. But people like to collect this weird stuff because it, it brings you back. It's nostalgic. And realistically, how many of these really could possibly exist anymore? Who saved their used Nestle Quick can? But sticking on that topic, there's also... Uh, the stories I can find about this promotional tube that was given out possibly at schools where kids were given a tube full of muscles. And this tube was basically, to me, it looks like a little poster tube or even a Pringles can that had some stamps on it. And like, that's it. There's no muscles in here. It's just the tube with some printed stamps. I don't know if you could uh, knock, one off, want, knock one of these off, but this tube sold for $500 for an empty tube. And people are in this in the muscle community are looking for this thing. It's not easy to find. A lot of these didn't make it. But from again, what I saw from the stories that I was reading is that you know children received these tubes, you know, in blue with random flesh-colored figures inside. And there aren't a lot of known ones out there. And when these do come up for sale, they don't come up cheap. As you can see, five hundred bucks for an empty tube, just because it had muscles printed on it. Because it's a piece of history, and it's a piece of history for muscle collectors. So it is not. Something, you know, to be taken lightly if you come across it. Grab it. And then finally, uh, another thing was a promotional. I think it was actually a, uh, a prototype. I don't think they ever actually released this for sale, but somehow, uh, I don't know if copies got out or what, but it, I don't know. I don't know the full story of this, but there's a little Hot Wheels muscle truck. This is the uh, hauler, the Hot Wheels muscle hauler, which I saw some evidence of some sales where this thing could go over you know, a grant for this little muscle hauler. But you got to be careful because there's instructions online because, again, this never actually came up for sale. So however people got a hold of the original, no idea. But you got to watch out because there are instructions on how you can make your own using some of the other Hot Wheels haulers and just putting this sticker that you can print out uh, basically on these sites. So just don't put too much into it, but it's still a cool little thing, even if you do get uh, a knockoff or uh, whatever you want to call it, a custom a custom hauler, but uh, just don't pay crazy prices. I have no idea how you would validate its authenticity or not. Because again, I don't believe it actually ever came up for sale. So with that, I still thought it was worth mentioning. And that's it. That's all I got for our muscles. So hopefully, you know, you guys enjoyed that. I had fun looking into this stuff. It brought me back. I'm going to keep an eye out just to get myself just a few of these little guys to put on my shelf somewhere because 
I'm trying to recapture that little bit of, uh, you know, my nostalgia and my youth by uh, getting some of these toys that, uh, you know, that bring me back. And uh, I know a lot of people feel the same as me. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying looking at this stuff with me, even if you don't buy into it, because I can't buy into everything either. But I do like looking into it. So, again, thanks for spending some time and I'll see you guys next week.